What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Quarantine Cocktail by yours truly, Dr. Cellini. For those of you who didn't watch my last video, you should go ahead and check it out on Instagram. I did a red wine sangria and today we are doing a rosé spritz sangria. I made this the other day. We pretty much finished the entire thing that night and that's exactly why we're going to make it today. So you may be wondering why I'm even doing this video to begin with. Well, for one, I'm super bored being at home on quarantine, but also I was a bartender for almost four years throughout college, and it was by far my favorite job of all time. Obviously now I love my current job a little more, but I still love everything about bartending. I actually loved it so much that there was a time when I threw bottles around in my basement and learned how to do stalls and moves like that, because at the time, there were the World Bartending Championship, and I was like enamored by Christian Delpatch, who would win it like every year. But then I finished college and never bartended again, but just made casual cocktails here and there. And that's exactly what we're doing today. So let's go ahead and get started on our Rosé Sangria Spritz. We will go ahead and open this bottle of Rosé. It is called El Terrano. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. Probably not. Uh, it's just your basic like under $10 Rosé. We got a Whole Foods. So like I said, I was a bartender for about four years in college and I didn't really make many fancy cocktails per se. It was mostly just college drinks like Jack and Cokes, Bourbon and Cokes, Vodka Sprite, you know, Amaretto Sours, that kind of deal. Because you don't really have much of a taste for cocktails in college and you also want something as cheap as possible. So as most people in college, so most people in college do not drink fancy drinks, and that's why I didn't serve any. Mostly because they can't afford it. So they stick to the $2 well drinks, if you will. But we can afford this today, and we're gonna make a nice cocktail. So start with a whole bottle of rosé. All right, so the next thing we are going to add is a half cup of Aperol or an orange liqueur. We always drink Aperol spritzes when we are in Croatia. So I don't have a liquid measuring cup, so I'll have to use the uh, measuring cup that you use for dry ingredients for baking, which is why I need a funnel so I don't spill this all over the place. Also, many people in the comments of my last video asked me why did I use a decanter and not a pitcher? And the answer is, I don't have a pitcher. So this is all I have, and it looks pretty fancy, so that's that. This is what you get. So half cup of Aperol, Again, this is a nice orange liqueur. Pairs nicely with champagne for an Aperol spritz. All right, so then I kind of swirl this around. Next, it calls for a fourth of a cup of sugar. That seems like a lot of sugar to me, so I usually just put like a little spoonful of it because this is already, you have sweet liqueurs going in here and a sweet rosé wine, so I just put a little bit of sugar. Probably about a, you know, a teaspoon or whatnot. And you don't need a funnel for this part. All right, so now that that's in, I swirl this even more to get the uh, sugar to dissolve within the liquid. So the next thing we do is take the juice of two lemons. All right. So I use this fancy strainer deal here that Andriana got at some point. When did you get this? Our wedding registry. Our wedding registry. <laughs> It's actually really cool. Uh, it strains the uh, lemon out for you. And it's also really easy to squeeze it all out. Leverage is your best friend here. Do that three more times with the other halves. The main goal is to not get the seeds in there. All right, we're done with the lemon. So then I swish it around again. So this recipe also calls for the one scoop of the inside of a vanilla bean, but I don't have those. And you can also cut up some peaches in here as well, but it's not peach season right now. And we're kind of running low on fruit given the quarantine time. So no fruit today. And I really just don't feel like cutting it again. All right, next we put some ice in our glasses. My lovely assistant will be putting this in. Now we have our ice in the glasses. 
thanks to my lovely assistant, we pour the sangria into the glass. Make it nice and even on both sides. The amount you pour in depends on how thirsty you are. And then the actual spritz component of the rosé sangria spritz is the peach soda water. So we'll throw this bad boy in there. Give it a few bubbles, because everybody loves bubbles. Little topper there. You're not supposed to use this spoon in this glass, but I will anyways, because we're fancy. And there you have it, rosé sangria spritz. Cheers. <clears throat> so that concludes this episode of Quarantine Cocktails with Dr. Cellini. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope you all enjoyed this kind of unique thing on my channel. I may do it a few more times if I can come up with some cool cocktail recipes for you. If you are under 21, do not drink alcohol, and if you are 21 or over, please enjoy this fine concoction. I'll see you all on the next video.